Let's start by focusing on a topic on all of our minds, the winter cold and flu season. There have been three viruses linked to the current surge in cases, flu, uh, COVID, RSV. And just last week, the CDC announced at least 57 pediatric deaths in this current flu season. Commissioner, are the confirmed cases of these viruses higher than usual this season? And if so, what is driving that trend? Yeah, thanks for the question. The overall rates of disease we're seeing for these three viruses are not out of proportion from what we've seen in previous years. But there's a couple of things to keep in mind. Number one, our level of testing and surveillance is enhanced. We're testing more. We have wastewater surveillance to track. Um, obviously, you're talking about confirmed cases. That's particularly important for RSV, which until recent years, we didn't have um, fast confirmatory testing for RSV. So often, um, severe cases or even deaths that would have probably been attributed to RSV were unclassified as pneumonias or pneumonia is not otherwise specified, uh, but we have more advanced testing. So it's a combination of things. We're much more vigilant. We're doing more testing than in uh, pre-pandemic years. Um, and we have better tests uh, than we've had in previous years. And so we are capturing more. We're certainly not capturing as much as we did at the height of the pandemic, um, but, but none of what we're seeing is out of proportion. And the good news is that for all three of these viruses in New York City, like much of the nation, we're seeing a steady decline in the past weeks. You mentioned